Well, we're heading right now to Dera uh, Marmati, which is uh, Mar Mati Monastery. And as you can see, that sign behind us wasn't that polite, actually. First, that sign said Animal Farm. The way it's written is not total respect to us as uh, an Iraqi Christians. So I hope there's a Christian parliamentarian who can see the sign and maybe change it. And this is, uh, we're getting close to Mergi village. Uh, we're stopping here at one of the local markets here, as you can see. It's actually on the side road uh, heading to Sheikh Marmati. Pretty nice and clean, actually organized. It looks like a grocery store, one of those things that we have in Detroit. We are on our way to uh, Marmati Monastery. It's on a mountain, and as you see, this is all zigzagged uh, road uh, leading up to Marmati. And uh, you can see the mountains and uh, the whole nature around us. We're here in front of the sign, it's called Jabal Maqloub. Maqloub means turned upside down, or actually the name of the mountain. This was also called the Al-Fav Mountain, and the word Al-Fav means Alpa, or a thousand in Surah. So that's why they called the mountain after 1,000 monks used to live here. You head the other way. This is the actual entrance for Marmati, as you can see on the background there. This is the interest of it. We're just going to take a, a bad look at it. We are actually at the top Marmati's monastery, and it's a huge building here. It oversees the, it's a gorge-like, and it's a mountain right behind us. It is a place that must see. On a clear day, you could see Mosul from these heights. So this is the side of Marmati's monastery. You see how far we are. You can see people coming up the mountain and down there are the roads. So this area here, as you can see, it is next to the edge of the mountain. This must be a window for this room. So this must be the entrance. It's inside the mountain. And that was that little window that I, sh that I showed you. And basically, we're on the edge right here. So, what's known about this area that there were a lot of monks, priests, living in Marmati Monastery. But the question that I'm proposing that, why would a monk go through the process of creating something that's square in the mountain? What's the reason for that? And then also, why would they waste their time to create this perfect, like, walkway? within a mountain that leads down. Because of those unusual carvings here, I think this could have been old Assyrian ruins even before Marmati. This is my theory and it needs to be proven. This is an old monastery. It's uh, about 1,660 years old. It was built back in 363 AD by Marmati, and I believe he was buried in this monastery too. There were also five major attacks in this uh, place and many attempts to take over this place. Uh, but thanks God we survived uh, all of them actually, and now it belongs to the, to the Orthodox Church, to our church. So that's a great thing. There are many people that would visit Marmati here, not just from the Christian community, but uh, also for the, uh, Muslims, Kurds, uh, Shabak Yazidis, they would come here because he's known to do miracles um, for uh, people. So this uh, pilgrimage, not just by the Christians, by the communities surrounding us. We are on the mountain that actually oversees the monastery. We're a little further up, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a bunch of goats there. But the place is imaginary. Uh, there are just a bunch of gorges that actually between the mountains, and we'll show you a better shot as we go across. It is a place that must see. The camera does not do it any justice. You just have to see it yourself. Yeah. 